Hello everybody and welcome. So today I'm going to be talking about keeping fish tanks outside. So there's a few main things you need to consider when keeping a fish tank outside and today I'm pretty much only going to be tackling freshwater tanks. Now there's a few things you need to consider. The first thing is you need to combat algae and the only way to really do that really you know really well and effectively is with plants. So when you're keeping a fish tank outside it's pretty much mandatory to have live plants in your fish tank. So, or if you're even keeping your fish tank by a window, it's also work with that. Live plants are a must. Now, when you're keeping live plants, you know, you need to make sure they do get, you know, light, as I said. So the whole point is keeping them outside. So you have the natural lighting source for the plants. Now, another important thing is make sure you don't have too much light. Now, and then it'd be something you really think of when you're setting a tank and you're thinking, oh man, I want to have light, you know, I want to get all the light I possibly can. Well, when you're keeping anything in a small enclosed ecosystem like a fish tank, you really don't want that much light. Otherwise, the algae will go crazy. Um, this only gets sun in like the early morning, and that's it. And, you know, the plants are still growing, everything still looks healthy, you know. It's, you know, it's doing fine, you know, it's doing good enough, it's, you know, I like it, you know, I'm happy with the way, where the tank's going. So, anything else? Yeah, you need water movement, that's key. Even if you're keeping it outdoors, I think water movement's always a must. It helps the plants, it helps anything else you keep in the tank, it helps regulate the temperature, and it also helps with gas exchange. All of these things are very, 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 very important. So, make sure you put your tank in an area where it gets shade, and also make sure it gets water movement. So, like, here, my tank, I do have a filter on the back. Or, I guess, yeah, on the back, yeah. And now this is just kind of hooked up to an extension cord. I'm on a patio type thing, and this just plugs into an outdoor outlet. So, that's really, really, really is a must. And one other thing that I would like to do, which has helped quite a bit, is actually put a heater in it. Now, the heater will help. I have it set really low, and because at night, the temperature can drop a lot. So, this will pretty much help keep the temperature from dropping too low. Now, the temperature may rise during the day, but it won't get below, like, 70 at night, which is plenty for this tank. You know, it helps the shrimp, because they don't want to be in that super cold temperature. Now, when it comes to time to dealing with fish, do not put goldfish in a small outdoor tank like this. This is a 10-gallon tank. I don't put goldfish in it. They'll cloud up the water, you know, it'll make your tank a lot harder to keep and take care of, and, you know, no one wants to, have, you know, have a super hard to keep tank. So, like here, I'm sure what I got again, these are white cloud minnows. These fish love, these fish can survive in colder waters, they come from mountainous regions, and so they're, they're perfectly okay with being in colder water, which is perfect, because the temperature is not going to get stay super high, or, you know, it can, it can drop. Now the shrimp, they do fine. I'm not worried about the shrimp really at all. I've kept them without a heater before and you know, it's probably gotten, you know, in the 60s and they still do fine. And this is just some red, red crystal shrimp that I took from my other main shrimp tank that I have in my basement. As you can see, they're just loving it. So all the fish are doing fine. They're all compatible. The, you know, the minnows, they should, you know, just provide a bit more movement. They're just kind of more of a decorative fish, you know. If I really wanted something super effective of growing plants, I'd probably just have shrimp. Now the fish do provide a bit of ammonia nitrite, which is always good when you're trying to keep plants, but you don't want too much because then you have a bunch of algae and, you know, that's generally bad. You have too many nitrates. Now, a benefit to keeping a plant... A tank like this outside is that it it does water changes for you when it rains the rain will go obviously go in the tank and it will overflow over the top and that just really does your work the work for you so you have the water changes done for you and it's all just kind of like done right there which is really really nice and so any algae that does grow the shrimp will try and eat which is you know again really really nice so you know the tank basically takes care of itself now I do also have um, some snails. You can see one little one on the glass. There's, I saw another one somewhere. Okay. Well, basically I have a bunch of these snails in here. Where did they go? Awesome. Oh my goodness! I there. You can, 